I wanted to build a museum around the nucleus of reproducing pianos, which of course are the most important item, so to speak, in the museum. Uh, we've added to the museum since all of these other instruments, which of course are not reproducing ones, but which nevertheless are very attractive. Now, we have husbands and wives who come along here. The husband might come along to have a look at the works in the piano, whereas the wife likes the music. In about 1890, Henry Conrad Sandell emigrated from Sweden to America. In four, three years, between 1904 and 1907, he contrived the whole of this instrument with the Mills Novelty Company in Chicago, here where he worked. Out on the left here are the weights which keep the strings of the violin at constant tension, regardless of atmospheric conditions. This is the afterplay mute. Here in the center, are the fingers which stop off the strings from underneath like that instead of on top as usual. Here is the automatic resin device which comes down in between the tunes and a very clever violin it is too. It can play both outside strings at once if it wants to. You try that with a bow. Before I found th this church, uh, they were stored in vicarages and garages all over the country. And then one day I noticed a, uh, a piece in the paper about there being 800 redundant churches. So I started looking around. In the end, I was successful in getting this one down in Brentford. It was in a shocking condition when, when I first came into it. The roof was leaking. The pews were awash. The hymn books were thrown all over the place by vandals. The organ pipes were out. Some of the windows were out. The floor blocks were all up. I think the vandals were coming back to set fire to them, but luckily they didn't. Um, anyhow, after going up on the roof and repairing the leaks myself, I eventually got an old pensioner who came along and helped for a year or two. And then now we're quite well, very well set up with a fine band of voluntary helpers who come along and just love doing the work and uh, establishing the museum on even a firmer basis still. Mm -hmm. 